Wow. Because again, what's interesting is eight light minutes. So it takes eight minutes at max. That's as fast as this can go before it hits Earth. All right, I'll speed it up a little bit, 10 seconds. All right, now this is 10 seconds per one. And you could actually see it expanding. Now at this point, so we are, so this happened whenever this date is. We haven't hit a minute yet. Because again, the fastest information can travel, it's been a minute, is instantaneous. So the theory is gravity also can only travel at the speed of light. Technically, it could probably travel faster if it's not a uh, mass and it's just a form of energy. But, you know, that's still up in the air. But already, this thing is at nearly the orbit of Neptune. I mean, Neptune. Mercury. And it's only been a couple minutes. Three or four. And at this point, I wonder... Hold on. If we can get free of the... Look at that. I wonder if the orbits of the planets have changed slightly. Like, I wonder if there's a little slight change. Because, again, this thing went from having mass to essentially being energy. So, just like that, poof. So, there is still the mass there, but not really. So, it's already past Mercury. Well, again, it's an uneven explosion. It's not good. It, actually, that's an inch. Well, it depends on where it explodes. Because again, in theory, it, it's a result of it, you know, burning harder and harder minerals and then it explodes. That's fine. But I don't know if it's just going to be an all about even explosion. Because again, one part of it might go before the other. And that's why you have like this thing here that's already in the orbit of Venus. Depending on what perspective. Yeah, it looks like it's close to the orbit of Venus. All right. So let's speed this up a little bit to 100 ticks per second. So again, this is about a minute per second. So again, we're already past the eight minute mark for speed of light and the sensation of gravity. So already the planet should be feeling a difference in, in, um, in gravity. But more importantly than that, we've seen this. The speed of light has already shown us what has happened. So we know we're fucked at this point. We've already experienced, we have enough time to think about it. And soon we're about to be engulfed by it. Now, I don't think it's going to show us getting evaporated. Because essentially the amount of energy released in a supernova is immense. So Mercury should be nothing it should be vapor at this point and we should be our atmosphere should be stripped and we should be essentially boiling at this point because the sheer amount of energy that has just entered and whoosh past our ass so there, is that the line of supernova? Average global temperature is still okay. It's starting to warm up a little bit. But again, by the way, I say a little bit. This is every minute. So every uh, minute it's going up by 10 deg of a degree or two. Now it's starting to go up almost five, two degrees every two minutes. And it should start baking here short. I mean, it's already baking. Again, that's average temperature. That means from the cold of the Arctic to the middle of the thing, that's the average. But I don't know. Like I said, I assume it should be enough energy to also mess with us physically. It's going to strip the atmosphere. The atmosphere is gone. We're being vaporized at this point. 
which it, it's interesting to wonder because we're dead well, yeah we're dead at this point you could actually see it starting to bake there but yeah there's no way to survive this but, well there <laughs> science fiction wise we could survive a frozen planet by the way how far out in the universe has our supernova actually traveled Jupiter's about to feel this but who cares? There's no one alive to experience it. We may literally be the only life in the universe, and it's gone. Again, this is every minute per second. The average temperature, again, melted. Melted. So it can't simulate the sheer amount of fucked our planet is. Like, it literally should be gone. Melted away into pure vapor. Because again, the sun turned into an explosion. Like, this vaporization should have happened ages ago. We should be losing mass at a massive scale. So we should rename it to fucked. So there we go. So, fucked is doing okay. <laughs> I can't imagine how hot... G wow. I like how it still shows like Europe is okay. England will be fine. The rest of the world can be destroyed. England will always have a stiffer upper lip and always be fine. Oh boy, would you look at that. I mean, that is just pure plasma. Again, I can't describe you. I mean, I have a hard time imagining, and I'm drunk. The sheer amount of energy that is just traveling at near the speed of light. The amount of force alone, not counting the energy, not counting the, again, the actual energy, but the kinetic energy of what's rushing by the earth right now is amazing there you go now we're starting to lose mass at an alarming rate this should have happened ages ago ages ago again this is still happening within an hour or have we seen a day it's been a day but you see it's shrinking we are fucked we are now point five zero 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 and gone how the hell is venus still there venus should have been fucked longer than us again this should be happen in order mars how the hell is mars where's mercury see mercury's fucked how the hell did venus survive quicker than uh, longer than us i mean the temperature it's always been hot and in Venus but man so again it should be losing mass here shortly by the way have you hit Jupiter yet oh yeah Jupiter is fucked uh, Pluto Pluto's gonna be all right for a long time actually <laughs> but man look at that I can the sheer amount of energy is it's mind-blowing like I don't pretend to know I pretend to just have enough knowledge to know that it is something that is jaw-dropping all right there it goes and Venus is gone Mars is still there somehow Jupiter oh no that's not Jupiter Jupiter should be an interesting case here See, it's slowly rising in temperature. Oh, well. No, this is Jupiter. The whole solar system should be fucked. So let's speed up time here. So, by the way, the inner planets are all gone. This has been... It still hasn't been two days yet, I don't think. And again, Pluto's still okay. 
Oh, no, Pluto's finally hit it. All right, here's Jupiter. So yeah, our of course, our sun won't do this. Our sun is small enough where it'll become essentially a brown dwarf, which then presents a whole nother list of problems if humanity can live those extra couple million years. Hopefully by that point, if we have lived as long as that, we've actually gotten to other solar systems. So it can be one of those things like, oh yeah, no, uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, Pluto or is one of those notes sad day today and Earth the birthplace of humanity has finally gone cold probably be a tourist trap then at that point but yeah because there is a limit I did saw one of those recent videos talking about there's a limit on how far in the universe we can travel in general again speed of light being that limit so I'm surprised again it's been four days and Jupiter's actually still relatively okay. Is it because it's gas? How's Pluto holding up? Eh, all things considered. Yeah, it's not losing mass like I thought it would. But the interesting thing with, again, the gas giants almost wondered how much they'd fare. Then again, shouldn't they be gone? Because again, we're talking about kinetic forces unheard of. Well, not unheard of, but still, I think it would, again, our atmosphere was the first thing to get whoosh. Jupiter is almost nothing but atmosphere. Anyways, like I wonder would the super giants just instantly lose all their gas? Like it's slowly losing its mass now. Now that I sped it up to about an hour per second. So again, to recap, Earth, gone. Mars, everyone else, gone. Right now, apparently only the gas giants and Pluto still exist. And Pluto is dying quicker than Jupiter, just for one final insult. But yeah, again, this was once a thriving solar system. Home to the only life we know existed. By the way, Saturn should have lost its rings ages ago. I was about to say, it almost looks like it's stabilizing. Are you serious? How is it stabilizing in this mess? Are you kidding me? How is that possible? Again. It should be much smaller. I imagine the gas gets blown off. But, at the same token, there's a lot of more material for it to suck up once this is all said and done. Yeah, it's slowly going up in temperature, but it's nothing too drastic. I mean, it's still, again, it's mostly gas, a, a massive kinetic energy just whooshed right by, and now it's so hot. Is fusion happening yet? By the way, it is losing mass still. All right, so let's continue up here. So it is losing now. We're going about a day per second now. So it takes a long time for Jupiter and the others to go. By the way, Pluto's gone. Neptune's still around, so is Saturn. So the four gas giants are still there. It stopped. It's cooling down. Now this is where it gets interesting. Now with a supernova, shouldn't there be... No. There should be a core left behind, though. It shouldn't be a black hole. It could be a super, uh, a um, supernova, supernova, a uh, neutron star, depending on the size. But it's cooling down. Now, what's interesting in this scenario, in my mind, again, I'm a drunk who thinks he knows what he's talking about. There's a lot more mass now for Jupiter and this gas giants to collect 
So if it survived the initial wave and it still has mass, like what happens now? Because a supernova is how solar systems are born. You have a giant star that explodes and then from its remnants, a new solar system evolved, as it were. But again, each time you lose some mass, which is why our star won't go supernova anymore. It's not big enough. But back to the point. So there should be clumps of masses going back to one another. Now, Jupiter has the opposite problem, since there's no longer any more heat source, quote unquote. So now it's getting colder. So apparently all the gas giants are fine. All us little small rocky planets are fucked. Now there you go. That's pretty much it. If I just sped it up more. And you can see now they just go... Since there's no gravitation to them. Ooh, Neptune and Uranus. Oh, no, that's Ares. Now they all go the separate ways to hopefully form their own new solar system somewhere else what is this per year now but there you go the band has broken up the lead singer exploded <laughs> and they're all going their separate ways It looks like they're coming from a single point, but that's because of how far away I'm zooming. In reality, it's just from the... Oh! So after that many years, which I can't see anymore, the supernova cloud just boofs. I mean, I feel sad. I just... I can't see them... I, I can't stand to see them leave apart. Come back together, guys! I said, come back together. Um, guys, I just... More mass than's in the universe at some point is going to be in this one location. Now, if you want to see impossible math, that's what this is. Because I just literally did a bunch of black holes in one position. Excuse me, this should be still. So I just made more singularities than, the, than anything should be able to compute. I mean, look at all those black holes I send in orbit. Oh, dear Lord. I made a mess. I made quite a mess. By the way, this is a millennium per second now. Can I shoot a laser? Oh, I can. Hello. Can I, like, dig a hole? Hold on. There we go. And a little bit. Do, do, do. There we go. Can I actually like dig a hole here? There's one, two, circle, circle. There we go. Hold on. Total power. How strong can I make this? Fuck me. Cold laser. I can freeze you back into place. Hold on. There's one ball. There's two balls. Then the shaft. There we go. Galactic super laser.
Wave maker. Hold on, I need a new earth. Okay, so, tools, lasers, wave maker, what does this do? Oh! Too bad it doesn't show the actual, like, wave moving on the planet. So what was this DVD laser? Oh, it does nothing. Lame. Uh, laser beam with. Uh, so again, what does this galactic super laser do? Ah, the planet's fine. I'm just making a new equator. It's getting a little warm, just a little toasty. Oh, well, okay, well, oh, hey, moon, just in time. Oh. Now I'm just surrounded by pigeon blood. <laughs>